There are 113 high schools related to our watershed geography. Some of these schools have graduating classes of 200 to 300 students. Some have only 25. If we take 150 students as the average class size of a graduating class, then we can calculate that's about 16,950 high school seniors in our watershed will turn 18 by the end of this year. Have they internalized the three academic standards for environmental and sustainability education? One, I understand the relationship between ecological, social systems, and economic systems. Two, I understand the relationship between the natural and built environment. Three, I understand the role of civic responsibility in sustainability. Here's the map of our watershed school districts. This includes the Issaquah School District, where the Issaquah Creek Subbasin fills Lake Sammamish, which flows through the Sammamish River and into the north end of Lake Washington. This includes the Everett School District, with several schools within the Mill Creek Subbasin. This includes the Shoreline, Edmonds, and Muckleteal School Districts, because all of the salmon that migrate through our watershed out the Ballard Locks and up the coastline depend on the nearshore marine habitat along the shores of these school districts. And we also include the Tukwila, Kent, and Highland school districts because even though they are not within the geographical drainage of our watershed, they drink Cedar River water. It's piped over to them. Together, we are all responsible for knowing our watershed address. 